Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another Four Brewers Quickie. And today we are going to a brewery that I don't believe has ever even been on Four Brewers. Um, this is Bootleggers Brewery and this is Knuckle Sandwich. This is their double IPA. Um, the hops in this beer are not specified. Uh, they just say North American hops, um, I believe is what it says. Yes, North American hops. Um, and I believe it is 10% alcohol. Yes, 10% alcohol. So this is a big beer. It's almost a triple IPA, but whatever. Um, I have had this beer before in the past. Uh, this was this was a beer, I would say four, five years ago that people w waited in line for. Kind of like the hazy IP IPA thing is right now. That's how people were with Knuckle Sandwich back then. They've just put it in cans, which is awesome. This was canned on, uh, you can't see the date, but I think it was uh, September 5th. And so it's about, I don't know, 10 days old at this point. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Okay, so this beer is very reminiscent of uh, old school double IPA, I guess you could say. Um, it's got a lot of bubbles on the glass there. It's got like a reddish orange look, I'd say. It's crystal clear, uh, got a nice uh, pillowy head on it. Looks, looks really nice, creamy head. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see what it smells like. So I'm getting like a citrusy pine thing on this. I'm also getting a lot of uh, maltiness to it too, like in that old school IPA way. Um, it's, not, it's not like a big punch of hops on the nose, but it's nice. It's, it's uh, refreshing, um, citrusy, but definitely on the piney side. Yeah, it has that kind of, in a very light way, a caramely nose too. Like the malts uh, are definitely on par with the hops on the nose on this, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is how the flavor is too. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Yep. That's a bitter beer. Ah, uh, toppy, definitely. Um, while most people, I think, would poo-poo on the maltiness of this beer, it's an interesting maltiness. It's a very tasty, uh, deliberate maltiness. It's not like uh, they didn't know how to make a double IPA and this is what they came up with. Like, Bootleggers makes really good IPA. They make hazy IPA. They make traditional West Coast IPA that's, you know, super bitter, uh, light on the hops, heavy, or light on the malts, heavy on the hops. Um, this was made to be a big beer. Uh, it's, it's malty, but in a good way. Like I said, uh, you get like a, a, a biscuity, um, caramely maltiness, a little toasty, I guess you could say too. Um, it's got the sweetness to back it up too. Uh, but the hops also are balanced very well with this. I think that being said, this is not my favorite beer to drink. Um, I don't know, maybe on select occasions like this. Uh, I got this because it was just canned and that's awesome. And if I can get bootleggers beer in cans, I usually buy it. Um, but this is a beer that uh, you're gonna, I think you're gonna nurse it uh, over the course of about 15 minutes. Uh, it's, it's kind of, it's a complex beer. It's a big beer um, and you gotta, accept it for what it is. I think I'm making it sound bad. It's not a bad beer. It's just, um, it's a very, it's like almost like a strong ale, but it's hoppy, like in a good way. Like it tastes really good. You really get like that juicy hoppiness going on. Um, but with like a, a multi backbone, like a big multi backbone. So, um, I'm going in for one more sip. Also the booziness comes through on this. I don't know, quite a bit. Uh, again, it's, but it's, it's a good beer. It's a 10% alcohol beer, um, super hoppy, also malty, um, but it's enjoyable. Uh, I, like I said, I can't drink this beer every day. It's a 10% alcohol double IPA. I mean, if you drink this every day, um, good luck. Uh, but it's, it's still a damn good beer and it's evolved over time. Um, back when it was a hype whale, you know, I was in line too, waiting to get a pint of it. It's a really, really good beer. Uh, it's just, it's different from what's popular right now. And I think bootleggers, you know, while they do follow trends to a certain extent, they also do what they want. That's how they've always been. Um, 
And yeah, so if you do see this, uh, I recommend buying it, um, but just be prepared for what it is. It's, it's a unique beer as far as I'm concerned. Um, people have negative things to say about it and they, you know, they don't like the beer. Um, my negative points about it are not meant to be negative, but just to inform you about what's going on with this beer. Uh, so pick it up if you see it. Uh, let me know what you think about it. And thanks for watching another quickie.